I'm going to teach you five things that help you spot scam emails. These are getting pretty common and I just received one yesterday, so I figured it's a good time to spread awareness on how to distinguish a scam, or what's often called a phishing email. The point of these emails is to fool you and get you to click a malicious link, which can lead to the installation of malware or the freezing of your system as part of a ransomware attack. If you don't know, a ransomware attack is when they remotely lock your system and demand money to unlock it again. If you work for a big company, you might get these because someone's trying to get access to sensitive information, or if you're just an individual getting these in your personal email like I just did, the sender is probably just trying to scam you and steal your money through some weird bank transfer. All right, let's cut to the chase. These are the five things that help you spot a scam, and I'll show you how you can spot almost all of them in my example. First, we'll look at the sender's email address. If this was a legitimate email, it would come from somewhere like paypal.com. Instead, this one is coming from a random Gmail address. The section right here is the domain, and it's the important part to look for. Anyone can create a Gmail address, so it's public and accessible to anyone. On the other side, only PayPal employees would have an email that ends with paypal.com. It's also good to know there are ways to spoof email addresses, essentially faking the address where an email is coming from. So even if the address looks legitimate, don't just blindly trust that. Instead, scan the rest of the email to see if it's trustworthy. One dead giveaway is if the email is poorly written. This is usually easy to spot, and my favorite is this line here. Please don't reply to this email, it'll just confuse the computer that sent it, and you won't get a response. And they top it off with, Thank and regards. Yeah, that does not pass the smell test. Also, this address they're operating from? I looked it up and sure enough, it does not exist. Another common thing is links and a call to action. They want you to take action, whether it's clicking a link, calling a phone number, downloading something, logging into your account, things like that. This email, surprisingly, did not have links to click, but they are asking me to call this number. My guess is, they'll pretend that a charge was made and to refund the charge, they'll try to get access to my PayPal account to scam money from me. A call to action, look out for those. And finally, maybe the biggest one, a sense of urgency. You should always think before you act, but scammers love the type of people who do the exact opposite and act before they think. They want you to see the email, panic, and start clicking all the links and doing what they ask before you get a chance to fully evaluate the email and its authenticity. This one says my account has been charged for nearly $500 and the money will be taken from my account within 24 hours if I don't reach out to them. Unauthorized charges, suspicious login attempts, and similar things are popular ways to create a sense of urgency and get you to act before thinking. So to sum it up, look out for these five things. And besides the things we covered, trust your gut. If something feels off, don't trust the email. Ask a friend or call customer service and not the number they're giving you in the email. Look up the number on your own to make sure you're calling the right number. If you get an email from your bank saying you need to update your account, but you're not sure if it's legitimate, you can always manually open up your banking website or application instead of clicking links in an email. If it's a legitimate notification, you'll be able to take action after manually logging in. Be safe out there, everyone, and maintain a healthy amount of skepticism towards the emails you receive. Hope these tips help you weed out scam emails from real ones. Subscribe to learn more, and if you have friends and family who act before they think, make sure to share this video with them to teach them a thing or two. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.